Hey guys, it's Admin, and welcome back to Survival Commands, the series where we use command blocks to fix our everyday survival problems. Today I'm over here in the nether heading off to the witch hut, where I'm going to smelt a bunch of, or should I say cook, a bunch of fish. So I'll meet you over there. If you didn't know it, witches can drop sticks. In fact, I do believe they drop twice as many sticks as anything else. So, I'm going to use that fact to smelt up all of our fish. I keep saying smelt, but you really don't smelt fish. You cook them. Like you do cooked pork chops. Anyway, I'm going to need more sticks, so I better come up here. Now, if you're wondering what we're going to be doing in this episode, it's probably not going to be related to this witch hut. Because I still don't really have the iron to support this. And I don't really fancy doing an iron farm right now. Yet I don't have the time to spend to mine all of the iron. So we're probably going to find some other projects to do. Maybe we could work on the base. As it could definitely need some... Well, it definitely needs some work. And... Yeah, that's probably something we should do. Anyway, I'm going to get this cooked up so we have food for the next episodes to come. I did just think of a project that I'll want to make at some point here. And that is a automatic smeltery system so that I could just chuck all the fish I want to smelt in and all the sticks would be automatically brought down from there and used to cook it. So that's something I'll probably do at some point. Woot! Woot, woot, diamonds, yes. I decided to take a break and just do some branch mining and I got rewarded for it. Awesome, always look around the corner. You never know if you might miss some. Five diamonds, that's like I didn't even have fortune. Is that a fortune three? That was like incredibly unlucky, but I'm not complaining. Diamonds are diamonds. I got it all in place. Yes, finally. That took like forever and tons and tons and tons of iron. Full stack of hoppers to finish it off. But I got it. Finally done. Obviously, I still need to like wall off this place and do something about the spider ice. Probably just an automatic disposal system. Only problem, check this out. If I were to drop something right there, that's going to get um, sent up here and we should see it um, maybe. Oh wait, that's right. It will go right into here because it's cobblestone. But, yeah, that does, um, well, that means that we can't really just trash these, because that could be bad. But yeah, this thing would just fill up, and then it would back up, and then the whole thing would stop working. So we do need to do something about this, but I don't want to make another tower, because I don't need spider eyes. Because I totally need sticks. Right? Totally need sticks and bottles. Just not spider eyes. Yeah, it, it's actually because I, I want it symmetrical down there. Because <laughs> I'm OCD. Just a little bit. Anyway, I think as a fix, I'm just going to do a block data command at this chest location. So if, if we look inside of it, we can see there's lots and lots of spider eyes as you can see, I took a bunch out just in case I'll ever need them down the road. Probably won't, but I better make sure that I have some if I do need them. And I think 18 stacks should be more than enough. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm going to get this all set up and then show you what I did. Alright, so here's what we have. We have a block data command, 
that changes the data of the chest that's over there, like I was doing, and it just sets the items to zero, while normally you would put something like slot whatever, and then the item that you want to put in. This is just doing a blank thing. So as you see, it should, in theory, clear this out. But I do believe, um, I obviously haven't tested this, so. Oh, oops, I made it. There we go. So you'll see if an item actually goes in there, it just pulses a little bit, then it instantly gets deleted. Um, I have this as a repeating command block, partially because that's the only command block I actually had over here, but the other reason is actually because with a um, impulse command block, sometimes this um, comparator could get locked, where it thinks it should be on, and because it, it turned on, deleted the item, but didn't flash, so then it would just get locked. But anyway, this is just going to clear out all of the spider eyes now. Of course, if I did put something else in here, it would get deleted. But I guess that's okay. So I'm just going to like, um, block, put a block above this chest so you can't open it. Because you don't need to be able to open it. In fact, I don't want to be able to open it. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bunch of um, furnaces above these hoppers. So I'm going to be right back. So why are we putting hoppers, I mean, furnaces above these hoppers? Now, the reason is actually that it will make it leg a little bit less, or reduce, or reduce leg, in the way that hoppers are looking to pick up items that are on the ground unless they have a valid inventory, in other words, from this furnace, in which they can take from. In which case, they will not look to pick up items, and that saves just a little bit on, um, ow, on like the usage of stuff and things. So now, I guess this is pretty much done. I might AFK here for like 10 hours or so, just like overnight. And I guess I'll see what we get. I'll see you guys in a moment, or 10 hours, depending on how you look at it. I'm going to be a little smarter, though, before I actually go AFK than the other times I've done it, and I'm just going to drop off all the valuable items that I have. I'm just going to keep this pickaxe on me, and um, might as well keep the food, and... Then I'm going to block myself in here, pickaxes so I can get out. And now that I think of it, I should probably do the corners too, because they might be able to hit me through that. So now I should be completely safe. Now when I go AFK, I generally, so I set my render distance all the way down, my frames per second all the way down. I just put all the stuff to minimum. And... Then I go to task manager, you won't be able to see this, and I'm going to set the priority um, of the Minecraft to be low. Basically I just want my computer to use as little of its processes and whatnot as it can on the game, so that it doesn't die. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment. Well, I thought I was being smarter, but it turns out, well, I didn't die. Don't worry about that. Turns out, um, I was actually pretty dumb. So I AFK'd for, like, 16 hours. And, um, actually, here, let's go out. I barely got anything. Yes, I did clear some out, but I barely got a thing. Now, you may be wondering why. That's what I was wondering, and also, I thought my computer, like, fell asleep or something, and it did, but that wasn't the reason. The reason was, I had a block above this chest, and I forgot that hoppers cannot put stuff in the chest if they have a block above them. So yeah, 
the whole thing just backed up and then I stopped being able to get more stuff. And then a ton of items were just laying around and yeah, not good times. Anyway, I fixed the problem and some stuff is finally thro flowing through, but I'm going to have to AFK again tonight or whatever. But yeah, that's a little frustrating. Well, I AFK'd for quite a long while, actually. I think it's been... Well, I think I AFK'd for about 12, 13 hours, something like that. But this is, like, way later right now. I think it hasn't been a week since I recorded, because I've been really busy. But I just turned this world into a server, and I have a couple friends that are going to be joining me, hopefully. So, in probably just a second... We might cut to a couple clips of us playing together. Also, you might have noticed something. Um, yeah. You know who and I. So yeah, I guess this has been a survival multiplayer world for a while, actually. We uh, built this. Nothing special. Well, I mean, it looks pretty nice, but it's nothing too, like, awesome or whatnot. But... Nice way to get up here, and we might do something in, like, the little hills up here at some point. Oh, and there's one of the other people. I better say hi. Or, or not. <laughs> well, that was quite eventful. You can see, well, a lot of stuff was said and whatnot. And we looked at some command blocks and stuff. And, yeah... We also built up the inner wall. Looks pretty good. Has some impossible problems. It's a little flat. But I like it overall. So, yeah. So, now I need to figure out what to do next. You know, I'm not actually sure if I showed you guys. I changed up the storage room a little bit. Not drastically, but it did get changed up. So, I moved the item frames to down here. They're a lot more convenient, especially when, well, you don't have to look and break your neck like this. <laughs> oh, my neck! Every single time. Yeah, and because I'm storing all the items, like, in this chest here, like, the, I'm going bottom to top, it makes it a lot um, easier. And obviously, this is all sorted out and stuff. It's pretty useful. I mean, obviously I'm still just throwing stuff in, but it's organized by like type. So like we have different stuff over here and we have 47 diamonds. Speaking of diamonds, we need to get ourselves some diamond gear at some point. That would be great. And a diamond sword too. This sword is not exactly the greatest. So, yeah. Um. Then over here is, yeah, I extended this down, and then we have, like, a little break, and then it's going to be more of the same, except these chests are just for, like, random stuff, like saddles. I guess they're random. And really good books. So, yeah, um, that's what goes over here. Let's see. I think I have something else to show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember. I went to the nether and spent, like, half an hour farming, uh, wither skeletons. And I was, like, super, super lucky. So, I guess you guys know what we're doing in the next episode. That's right, a wither fight. Wait. Oops. Yeah, actually, I got really unlucky. I got zero skulls. Zero skulls. From literally, like, probably 50 skeletons. It was terrible. But, yeah. No wither fight. No beacon. So sad. That's okay, though. We'll need to get that sometime, because, like, beacons with the new mending enchantment allow you to just, like, you get haste, and then you can just mine out, like, all the blocks. Just, like, tearing through, not even, like, caring about, like, strip mining and stuff. And you get, like, loads and loads of diamonds that way. But, yeah. 
Anyway, I'll see what to do next. I might have some people join me next time I record. Well, this episode has stretched on for quite some time. I think I'm going to end it there. In the next episode, we're going to be working in the nether. But, anyway, if you've liked the episode, make sure to leave a like. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching.